Hello, 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 and welcome to all things that I love that are Russian, because I don't know if you all are aware of this, but I am 2% Russian, and I'm feeling very Russian tonight, I'm not really sure why. So we are going to take some time to appreciate all the things Russian related to me that I'm just appreciating and loving and celebrating and wanting to share with you because I'm just in the Russian groove tonight. So let's 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 take some time and let's all pretend that you're Russian with me and let me know if you really are Russian. Hmm? All right, so let's say three words that I know for sure in Russian. I can say Dobro utro, Dobro vecchia, and Dobro zain. And isn't niet also a Russian word? I think it is. So, yeah, that's, that's three. That's three really cool, cool things that I can say. Otherwise, of course, I would love to be able to count it to at least 10 in, 10 in Russian, but I cannot do that. I can do that in other accents and other languages, but this is a great place to start, at least with three, three words. Isn't this so, so cute? This is a babushka. Isn't that how you say it, a babushka? I think that it is, but you can correct me if I'm wrong because I most likely am. I've also heard them called nesting dolls. And yes, do not mind me if my accent goes into a million different accents. That's because it probably is. I cannot ever keep it in just the one particular one that it should because I don't know. My brain is just very all over the place. But this, I have to tell you a little story about this. So growing up, my mama, she had one of these because she got them from some friends of ours that was, they always had a Russian um i don't think there were students they were um there were orphans i think that they were helping out and i think when they would I believe that they went to russia a lot they brought us these as a gift so when i i remember growing up I was like when i get older someday i want to own my own babushka nesting doll set so lo and behold my husband got this for me I believe it was for a birthday or for Christmas. Oh, look, when you open them up, there is another nesting doll, another babushka, and then another babushka, and another babushka, and another babushka. It's a tiny, teeny little babushka. Babushka. I just don't hate, don't hate, okay? Just, just stop. It's just, it's a babushka. Babushka. <laughs> I just love these dolls so much. Now, have you ever seen this video right here? If you go onto YouTube, I know it is extremely wild and very weird, but it's very catchy. And it's very, just, I don't know what it is, but there's this weird side to all of us that is very intrigued and fascinated, I think. And he goes, It's so silly, but it's just, it's hilarious. <laughs> and when I am feeling most in tune with my Russian roots, this song, I must tell you, I would listen to it over and over and over, repetitive, till I should know it by heart. I don't, I'm not really sure why not, but, and I don't even know what it is about. It is probably a breakup kind of a song. I have a lot of those kinds of songs in my like saved a light videos on YouTube. But it's like I highly recommend that you go and check it out. It is so good. So good. Growing up, we had so many special books in my family, and one of them is this lovely one right here, Thunder Cake. Have you ever heard of it? So whenever it would storm growing up, my mother would say, let us go and make Thunder Cake. And the secret ingredient is, I kid you not, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Isn't that crazy? And you couldn't even tell that it was ever in there. It's a beautiful book. It's just lovely and it's so cute. Yes, you got a vibe with your Russian vibes, I'm telling you. 
And then you should go and check out <coughs> my Russian boss lady video that is on my Lady Bedazzled Hannah YouTube channel. Yes, I'm literally pretending to be a Russian boss lady. And um, I didn't have the real puff there. I cannot believe I just did that. Yes, I've literally ended my breastfeeding journey with my son. And I'm celebrating. Oh my goodness, I, I cannot cont I cannot contain myself. I cannot contain myself. <laughs> And anyway, I'm sure that there is more about my Russian loving, celebrating culture and vibes and grooves and all of that fabulous stuff. But, um, oh yes, red from orange is the new black. Believe it or not, I know you are going to, like, like literally have your jaws on the floor not to be able to pick them back up. But I did watch a little bit of that show. I know, isn't it wild? So very wild. I, did, I had to stop. You know why I had to stop. I couldn't take any more of it. But sometimes I pretend that I have her accent. And I know I'm not doing very good. But I still love to pretend. And with my 2% that is in there. I, I take it seriously. And I love it. I love it. So. Anyway my lovely darlings. That's, that's it. I'm sure I'm forgetting other stuff. But um. <laughs> cheers cheers to the Russian life <laughs> P.S. I've got to tell you something I just remembered it of course that is what it always happens but back when I was living in Lincoln, Nebraska it was quite some time ago and I miss my beloved home state but at the mall this seems to take place at a, a many a location at a mall but there are these booths in the middle, right? And there are these sellers or there are these salespeople that are always trying to give you a free sample of something. They're like, here, ma'am, this is for you. Here, it's for you, for you, it's free, it's try it. Tell me about your face, tell me about yourself and all this kind of stuff. Well, they got me hook, hook line and sinker because I remember buying a hair straight, no, a hair curler one kind of thing and some aura gold 24 karat gold products or i don't remember if the gold facial products were from the russian macedonian people but i'm quite certain or maybe it was a hair straightener or or a curler or both I, it's been so long ago and i know my family gave me such such grief for it they're like you need to be saving your money girl you shouldn't be spending it oh, don't let them do that to you and I do remember one of the young girls, ladies, you know, around my age or so, she was like, honey darling, honey darling, honey darling. I'm like, I'm not her darling. Why is she calling me her darling? But it's stuck with me ever since. And I am a honey <laughs> and a darling, but like to my husband. So um, they were very good at their sale pitches and they got me. <laughs> All right. Cheers to Lou.